everyone welcome back to my channel um, I know it's been um, over two years since I last did a video um, I just had to get into the groove of doing videos again and um, I've I've been getting so many um, questions about what's in my planner um, and doing flips so I'm going to do two separate flips. I'm going to do one of this medium mirror card. And the other flip is going to consist of my A5 companion, which is my main planner. Um, just so you know, I don't plan um, in medium, but I have uh, medium completely set up um, for the purpose of if I have the urge to plan um, in medium size, I already have a full setup. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get right into the flip. Um, I just wanna show you this texture first. This pattern looks amazing. This texture is everything. Um, the inside cover isn't as textured, textured as the outside um, cover, but it does have a little texture. Um, so in these pockets here, I only have um, some coffin paper stickers. I, I had to cut the sheet down and I'll show you why, what I use these stickers for um, when I show you the flip. But um, I had to cut them so they could fit in this pocket. And I don't have nothing in the zipper. I have a receipt here. And these um, cards right here are from Essence Plans. Um, she made these cards specifically. Oh, I'm happy I said that. I need to, <laughs> I need to visit her um, because she made some cards for her front pocket, and I want some for my front pocket and the companion. But um, she made um, these cards, and all I did was I changed the font, and um, I add my own words to certain cards, and other ones are what she had. Just changed the font um, to one of my favorite fonts to use, and. Um, I think they're real helpful, especially for people who don't, like some people use this part as a wallet because it can fit um, credit cards, but I don't, I um, I don't use it as a wallet, so love it. Um, and there's nothing in the back pocket. So now to the flip, um, 30 millimeter rings, dividers are from um, Hannah. Um, I can't think of what she changed her shop name to, but formerly Banana Doodle Shop. So I have two top dividers from her inside. She made these pink ones personally for me, but I know she's supposed to be bringing them to the shop as a limited edition. And these pink dividers are amazing. Like I love them. I also have them in my A5. So she made me two sets. She made me a personal set and an A5 set. And I need to get another A5 set because Trying to cut down my dividers in this one. <laughs> this one is um, completely messed up, so I just leave it sitting there um, until I order me some more pink ones from her. Um, but I have white dividers from her, so I can switch them out. But I love the pink ones. So yeah. So um, if you if my camera shake or anything, it's because I keep hitting uh, my my um tripod so open up the you know, this outside cover oh, this texture is amazing let's just look at this amazing texture for a moment like this cover by itself is looks so good like this is so good okay so right here i just have a freebie card that came one of my cloth and paper orders um, right here is my friend, um, Nikki has sent me this card holder and some happy mail one day, and I just have some Mary Plans page, um, test cards up here, and I don't use them. I just like the way they look I use for decoration. Um, behind here I have some cards from Elamon Paper Co. Um, this was a freebie mood board from EOX, um, and I just... It has a summer bucket list on the back. And then I thought this was so um, beautiful. Next we have um, a 
dashboard from UNI Graphics. It came with a set of, I think, maybe nine or ten, maybe more. And it came with all printer sizes um, for like $7. And I thought this was really cute. I printed these on cardstock. Next, we have um, 2020 Yearly from Coffee Paper. So this first section, which is the this shit done section, and it just had I had just had some lists in here. Um, I use this to just jot down quick lists and I check them off. I've been this list is actually old, um, but like I said, I don't use this planner, so I just wrote some. Um, I didn't end up going back to check it off. Once so I have a few sheet of those, and I have these lists as well from um, Peanuts Planner Co. Next is my inbox session, and then I just use this insert from, um, I actually like the way this inbox look instead of, rather than the inbox that's in my A5, but Peanuts Panico don't do true A5 size, so I can't get her inserts in my A5 there, so I put them in here. So I'm using those for my inbox. Um, okay, and I also have a 2021 um, yearly calendar here. Um, before I keep going, if I um, don't mention where something is from, um, you can leave a comment below or you can mention me on Instagram. Um, I will answer both. Um, this is from Marcia Bermucci. Next, we have the date section. And I just have this printable um, from Sesame. And it has the holidays at the front. And then these um, little monthlies. Um, I actually use these for like certain events and I highlighted the um, holidays that my, I holiday the federal holidays, I'm gonna like that, that my husband get um, holiday pay for. And um, I just use these for like birthdays, anniversaries, whatever comes to mind. Um, I printed out this photo out. I don't know what I'm using it for. I just printed it out. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of completely set up for whenever I do decide to use it. It's already set up to go. My monthly, um, these monthly right here, um, I got July and August. I'm using this as a period tracker. And that's when the coffee and paper stickers are going to be used for. So let me show you, for example. Um, say for instance, my cycle starts on the 8th, so I'll just take these teardrops, drops, whatever. <laughs> I'll take one. It's hard to put down stickers when you got long nails, I will tell you that much. And then I'll just cover up the day that it started, and then I'll just, you know, so on and so forth. So that's specifically, well, I'll just put one here. I put it on the first, even though it didn't come on on the first, but just for video purposes. So I use these for to track my cycle. So like I have July and it has some notes at the back and then August. Next, I have my custom monthly from um, Simple and Trendy Co. Um, I asked her to make this monthly for me. Um, this month on one page is so simple and cute. I want a grid. And I love how at the top of the monthly is like the Hobonichi style monthly. And um, she's very quick with um, customs and I love that about her. And um, she also gives reasonable prices when she does customs and they always look good and i love her font as well so i got these from july 2020 to i think july 2021 yeah next i have this um yearly fold out from um sterling ink and i i specifically use this fold out for when um on days that my husband call in or have to stay over at work and i just Match that here. Um, this next section is the planning section. If I was planning in here, I did do um, a few spread, well, attempt to do one. <laughs> um, these sticky notes are from cloth and paper. I just have it here just in case I want to write on one. 
Um, this printable is from my friend Nikki. I don't know where she got it from. Um, she probably got the image off Pinterest. Um, I just printed it on vellum. And I love how when you flip it on the other side, like it still looks good. That's the, the best thing about printing on vellum to me. So I have two sets of weeklies in here from Sterling Ink. I have this week on one um, that just has some lists here and some lines here. And then I have this new weekly that I put slips in. It just has this monthly um, calendar here and I just highlighted it with one of these. And then um, you have your month tracker. I never use that, the trackers, never. Um, some lists and then just like the things over there and then you have line pages on the back but um i like trackers but i never actually track the things that i put on here and sometimes i forget to go back and check i attempt to use them but it's always a fail so i have july through i think september yeah through september printed and cut just in case i want to go into this planner Next, we have the money talk section, which has bills, inserts. All this also is a custom from Sterling Ink. I'll show you some blank sheets. So this is a custom, and I um, tell her how I wanted it, and she did it exactly how I asked. Um, I like to tally up the bill total uh, after everything's been paid, and I like to put the total at the bottom. And I was just doing this on another insert, and then I specifically told her that's what I wanted, and she did a custom for me. Um, she's good about customs as well. So behind this bill, I have some grid also from Sterling Ink. And I love this floral around the grid. I also have some line pages. Yeah, some line pages as well. And behind that, I have a payment tracker, which I need to fill out. If I decide to use personal, I will fill out. I have it. Everything filled out in my A5 because, like I said, that's my main planner. Um, so I have payment tracker. Next is section. I have some things printed on that. Uh, so just go to the blank page. So this is just um, some notes. Um, I have certain goals written on the front of it. Um, but these are note pages from Marcia Bermucci, and I love these. Actually, after looking at these, I need to print these for my A5. Um, I forgot I had these in here. Um, so, yeah, it came with a set of other inserts, these note pages. So, I have a few sheets of those in here. Then, after that, I have another one of these dashboards from UNI and Graphics. And then we have some doctor visit inserts from um, Peanuts Burner Co. And I have a few of these printed off in here. Um, I was, honestly, I was actually pulling out this planner for a specific doctor visit because I love, love how the doctor visit insert looks on here. I need to get me a custom um, doctor visit insert for my A5 um, so I can have something in there because I don't have none in my A5. So the doctor visit inserts. Uh, we have some headache tracker inserts. Um, I haven't had a headache since I had my baby. I had him in March, and um, I think I haven't had a headache since probably January or maybe February. But I still got them in here um, just to keep track. Um, I also have some meal prep inserts that I never write on. <laughs> I just like the way they look because every day. Um, I asked my husband or my son which I want to eat. I just go with the flow um, each day. So it's hard for me to just plan out a week. Um, the only thing I could plan out is his lunch for work. Um, but far as planning out what we would eat for dinner at home or for breakfast, sometimes we don't even eat breakfast. We probably eat a sandwich or so. It's just hard to plan out. But I just like to see him in my planner anyways. Another one of these dashboards. And then my last section just has random stuff. So I have some add to planner um, inserts and then I have um, restaurants to try inserts and it's only one I want to try is a new insert I mean a new restaurant called steak and seafood 
kind of want to try that place. And then I have um, some floor inserts printed from um, Sierra. Um, these floors are so pretty. Well, from SM Plans. I think the colors of this one is my favorite. And also, I fell in love with the in the packet of florals. I like the sheets that's like this. Like, I love how you can see the floor like in the background. So creative and pretty. And I have this printed in my A5 as well. Those are my favorite sheets. And I just have some more pages. And then here another vellum from my vellum. <laughs> I printed off from um, a, a file from my friend Nikki. And like I said, it looks even better when you flip it on the back. I don't have these printed in my A5. This is, I don't have any more vellum. <laughs> but I, I need to buy some more vellum so I can print these for my A5. Um, I don't know where this is from. I don't know. I have so many um, printables um, because I mainly, I honestly, I print everything in my planner. Um, except for I always buy dividers from um, Hannah for all my planners. Um, so I just be going through my old files and then I'll find something and like, okay, I can put that in there and print it off. So behind this, I just have some tassels from um, Simply and Trinity Co. And I think that's, yeah, that's it right there. And then this is a cloth and paper dashboard. I don't know where this is from. I think it was a freebie from, I don't know. I'm not sure, I don't remember. <laughs> and that's it. Um, and I have this page lifter from Foxy. Um, I have this in all my planners. That's one thing I'll never get rid of. Even when I sell planners, I can never get rid of the page lifter because I always go, you know, flip flop sizes. Okay, so that's it for um, the Mia Car Flip. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, it's pretty much not up everywhere, like not all over the place. So it's just short and straight to the point. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy my flip. And I'm going to get another flip of my A5 up. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and film that one now. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to be back making videos. I won't promise that I'll do them often, but I'll do them as as much as I can um yeah so happy to be back doing videos and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see um, more flips and I'm happy to be back hope y'all have a good day